Sometime back in OSX Sierra, Apple decided to change up how software manages their USB 3 buses. So if you're like me and have a Hackintosh with an older motherboard, you might be prone to USB 3 problems. In fact, on my build, USB 3 does not function, and that's because of how Apple changed up how the drivers and how the buses operate. So sure, there are text files you can install, there's configurations you can make to get your USB 3 three bus to start functioning, but every machine's different, every build is different, and I can't just make this one video and say, this will work for everyone, because that's not how the world works. But I think I have a solution for you if you want USB 3, USB 3.1 to work on your Hackintosh. It's going to cost you 35 bucks, and it's not the greatest solution, but it's quick, easy, it's the lazy man's way. Welcome to One Minute Tip. Start the timer. All right, what's up everyone? So yes, Hackintoshing USB 3, there are problems. How do you fix it? Yes, as I already said, you could spend a ton of time trying to get your USB 3 bus to work, but is it really worth it? Hours of time, frustration, when I don't know your system, it might not work. You never know. So, my solution is Amazon. For $35, a company called Ablecon has a PCIe to USB adapter. So, with this $35 adapter, you will get a Type A USB 3 port as well as a Type-C USB 3.1 port. This PCIe adapter is already out of the box, ready to work with OS X. I have it currently running on High Sierra, and I'm not, I'm assuming there's not gonna be any problems with Mojave when that comes out. Regardless, yeah, that is all. Just buy a $35 PCIe adapter, works well. Yeah, might not be the greatest solution for you because now you're like, oh, but I want my native USBs to work. I get that. But you're going to save so much time, so much frustration. And at the end of the day, I think it's worth it. So if you want to check that product out, link will be down in the description. Anyway, I'm Eric, and I'll catch you in the next one.